So I recently had this video go viral on Instagram and the video was about me getting stood up. In the video I said that I tried to switch up my type and go for pasta and lobster and I got stood up. One, people on Instagram didn't get that reference. They thought I wanted pasta and lobster for a first date. So there's that. But what was most surprising, actually most disgusting, was the amount of comments that I got saying that I needed to lower my standards. Not because I'm ugly, not because I'm bad body, because I know that's not true. Your girl does Pilates, okay. But because I am a single mother, I need to lower my standards because no man wants a single mother. And that the guy probably stood me up because he realized I was a single mother. And if I'm gonna be a single mother and I'm dating, I'm just gonna have to learn to accept that behavior because no one's gonna wanna raise somebody else's kids. Now, there are so many things that are wrong with this. Mostly, like, people looked on my page and saw, okay, she's an attractive woman, she's successful, like, she has her shit together. So what is the thing that I feel like she would be insecure about? Oh, that she's a single mom. Now, I personally am not insecure about that. I think it's because of my age group. Like, I'm in the age group of most people who already have children. I'm in my mid-30s. So most of the men that I date already have kids, and they would never feel a woman with kids is devalued, I would say, for the most part. But even men who are in my age range who don't have kids know that most women at this point do have kids. Kind of the level of delusion is amazing. It's incredible, even. I mean, I'm almost starting to think that if they knew or they had the ability to be able to peer into the future and realize that the standards and the wave change so quickly. I mean, look, the amount of men that I've influenced, and I'm not crazy, like I really do know, and I'm really paying attention because I get the emails and, you know what I'm saying? I get the DMs and I appreciate y'all. And, you know, I do a ton of coaching calls. And so I've coached a whole lot of people. The amount of people that are waking up, men specifically, and saying, you know what, this is a bad deal, and I don't want to take care of another man's kids, and maybe they should have married before they carry. No, it's not that guys are saying, oh, you know what, most of the women that's available, you know, in my age range. First of all, the level of delusion and understanding that Guys have options, and as they continue to age, they don't have to even stay in that same age range. They don't have to date a woman that's in their 30s or 40s. They don't have to do it. They can choose to do whatever they want, whenever they want to do it. As a matter of fact, they could choose to just date. They don't even have to get married. They don't even have to choose to have children. As a matter of fact, I see a lot of guys that are saying, you know what? I'm happy. I'm happy with whatever my current circumstance is, and so I'm just going to have some fun. And so, you know, what she don't understand is that guys are now aware of the fact that that is a bad deal all the way across the board. It is never, ever, ever going to be a good deal raising somebody else's children. I know that they were sipping out and they were selling that to us as far as that's the way that we were supposed to operate as far as saving the community or saving people or they need mentorship and all of that. Listen, that shit is dead. And it don't even have anything to do with what you look like. And I mean, I'm, I'm not even referring to her specifically. I'm just saying in general. But in my personal opinion, a chick that is very, very, very basic. And when I say basic, I mean, you know, just a run of the mill. You pass her every day and you don't even think twice about her. That is a better deal than getting a chick that is a bad chick. And, and I'm not saying that she's anything. Like, I don't really care... None of that shit even matters. Like the look don't matter when you start to talk about the fact that a chick got kids. When you have kids, you are automatically disqualified, especially from a man that do not have children, have put in all of the work, has continued to level up, become the best version of himself. And now he's supposed to take a package deal, a two for one package deal that does not work out in his favor. That shit is off. It's wrong. It's off. It's, it's off 100 percent of the time. Let me hear the rest of what she got to say. Um, Cause I'm really curious about the rest of the story. I've accepted that they're going to be a stepdad, but I think it was really interesting to see kind of the psyche of how many men think that women should be ashamed and they, they should lower their standards because they have a child. When I would say it is actually the exact opposite because I have a child, my standards are so much higher because I have a child. My values are so much higher. Because I'm not only doing things and making decisions to keep myself safe, but I'm also making th doing things and making decisions to keep my child safe. So I would never allow a man who's not like a 
a good man into my life because that would mean it's, he's going to be into in my daughter's life. And you should have thought about that before you decided to have a child. You should have married before you carried. Listen, that's cool. I believe that every single person should have preferences. Everybody should be able to create the standard that they want for themselves. But guess what? He got standards too. And he don't have to subject himself over to you. And it's a bad deal. What about him? See, this is the selfishness that we deal with on a regular basis. What about the guy that ultimately would be in that position? Is that fair to him? Is it fair to a man that don't have children to take care of another man's children? Is it fair to a man that don't know you to then subject yourself to a woman that have already given the best of herself over into somebody else? Because it's not about you. See, she's, and, and this is what I keep trying to tell guys, is that women are in health inherently selfish. The only thing that they think about is what their preference is. And then they get mad at you for not subjecting yourself to it or for us telling the truth. You're a content creator. You decided to put the information out there. You got the feedback and now you're disturbed by it. The reality is that they're telling you the truth. Listen, if the overwhelming majority of people are telling you the same thing and you're getting the same feedback because you put this content out there, you probably need to listen. I care about my daughter's life more than I care about my life. It also is crazy seeing how many men don't see value in single mothers when they're the ones who are creating them. Like when I had my baby. Let, I, I'm going to let her rock, I promise you. It's a small minority of men that are creating the majority of the children. Y'all, I'm going to cut her some rope because I think that she delusional because she just don't know any better. Honestly, I'm going to assume. I'm going to already give her the benefit of the doubt. See, I'm, I've been being a good, good boy lately. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to assume that she just don't know any better, all right? It was with a man who I was in a relationship with who we said, let's have this baby because I had PCOS. They said it was going to be really hard to get pregnant. I wanted to have a baby when it was a little bit easier. Our plan was always to get married afterwards. But five weeks after my daughter was born, he was like, mm, no, I don't want to do that. Thank you. Okay, that is always your decision on autonomy, all that great stuff. But like you created a single mom. So how can you judge a single mom? But being a Didn't marry before they carry. Did not marry before they carry. I don't care what your plan is. If y'all was going to be a forever fiance. If you was thinking about getting married after you had the child. Did not marry. Listen, when you do things outside of how God has ordained for us to go about doing it in order to get the best results. And we can then lean into the data and the statistics to say that children that are married, that are born into a marriage, that are raised in a two parent household, have a much greater, much greater chance of being successful. You get better results. Single mom is never something that people should be ashamed of because it is something that has truly made me a better person. I don't believe I was that great of a person before I had a child. Like I was selfish and inconsiderate. Now I'm a lot more selfless. I'm a lot more maternal. So she was an asshole before she actually had a child, which means that she probably attracted assholes, which was the asshole that then left her to be a single mother. You see, the more that they talk, they actually start to give you a little bit more insight into who they were. She was an asshole. Oh, it made me a better person. I'm a lot more responsible. She's also made me be about my business and make money because when you are a single mom, you know, you can't depend on anybody else. It's just on you. And last, but certainly not least, we have better snacks. Another thing that I found really shocking was the amount of women who commented. Like one woman in particular was just like, single moms are the worst. And I want to remind people, there are so many situations that a woman can become a single mom. Literally, when you sign up to become a parent, there is fine print that says, you're also signing up to become a single parent. Now, I didn't know that until it happened to me, but it can literally happen to anybody. Y'all get divorced, guess what? You're now a single mom. You're not a less of a single mom just because you were married first. I promise. Except for we know that women overwhelmingly up to 80 or past 80% are the ones that initiate divorces. You're still a baby mama, okay? There are partners who die. There are partners who disappear. There are partners who are living with you full time and not doing anything. And guess what? You're still a single mother. So hate for men, I can almost understand because they are who they are. But Listen, it's no point in hearing any more of this. The reality is that they're delusional. They don't understand. They didn't marry before they carry. 
and now they have to deal with the results of it, which men have been enduring through for a long time, meaning that we've always understood that whatever decision that we make, society is going to hold us accountable whether we want to or not. Not, But now they're starting to realize that guys are student, starting to have preferences too. They, they're not crashing out, and it's not as easy to be able to finesse y'all into being single baby daddies or being crash dummies. So be careful. Don't get yourself in a situation with a delusional woman that ultimately is going to uh, how you raising another man's child? If y'all can, ladies, my best advice to you is to go back with your baby daddy, figure it out, work it out. Otherwise, get married before you carry and then have people vet out the person that you decide to open your legs up with because this is a lifetime decision and you shouldn't subject somebody else to whatever it is that your, your bad choices were that you then now have to live with just because you changed your life don't mean that we have to change our preferences. That's just my honest opinion. Uh, I'm curious as, as to what you guys think inside of the chat. Make sure you tap into the Patreon. Link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Also, tap in at After Hours Night. We're going to get it popping. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Can't wait to read y'all comments on this one. I'm out.